Hey guys, it's your girl T, and once again, we got another crazy story that's coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida. So what's going on now, Florida, you ask? What's going on now is that we have a 32-year-old gangbanger, Epic Damn Fail, who decides to take his mama with him on a drive-by. Lord, I can't make this stuff up if y'all paid me. Go ahead and check out this news clip, and I will come back with the rest of my damn commentary. Mm-mm-mm. Florida, I'm going to need y'all to get it together. In court, accused of driving her son to a Holly Hill apartment complex to shoot a man. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bob Fryer. And I'm Luann Sorrell. Take a look at this. That is Lewis Hawkins on the left. He's still on the run tonight. And that is his mother, Sandra Kanigia, on the right. She's still behind bars. Fox 35's Kelly Joyce was the only reporter in court today. Sandra Kanigia faced a Volusia County judge here today at the jail. And police tonight are saying that her son is still on the run. Holly Hill police say this guy, Lewis Hawkins, got into an argument with Dion Skeeter a week ago at a bar. Police say Hawkins couldn't let it go and tracked down Skeeter at his girlfriend's Holly Point apartment. Police say Hawkins got his own mother, Sandra Kinesia, to drive him to the apartment. And after searching for Skeeter for several hours, they spotted him outside the building just after one Tuesday morning. Police say Hawkins pointed a gun out the window of his mother's car and shot nine times towards Skeeter. Bullets went through the windows and into the kitchen walls. Two children and Skeeter's pregnant girlfriend were inside the home sleeping at the time. Neighbor Ernestine Bird heard the gunfire. Everybody stopped coming out, trying to see what was going on because everybody heard gunshot. Pow, 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 pow. Police say Skeeter saw Hawkins and identified him through a Facebook picture and a lineup. Police brought Conigia in for questioning and police say after initially lying, she admitted she drove her son to the complex. A judge denied Conigia bond today on charges of principal to first degree attempted murder. The woman and kids who were staying in the apartment that was shot up are not staying there right now, too afraid to go back. If you have any information on this case, call Holly Hill Police. In Volusia County, Kelly Joyce, Fox 35 News. So you guys just watch that damn news clip. You got this damn man, Lewis Hawkins, who's 32 years old. He's a gangbanger. He's a Latin king and basically got into it with another Latin king at a bar that weekend. And instead of him letting it go, he decides to involve his 54-year-old mother. He has her drive him to the scene. And once he sees Skeeter, he starts bucking shots. You know, it's like, as a mother, how stupid are you? Now the mother is facing felony first-degree attempted murder. I mean, this is insane. First of all, if my son was to come to me and say that he had beef to the point where he felt like he had to shoot and possibly kill somebody, I would tell his ass, no, it is not that damn serious. Let it go. You don't need to be in prison. You have your whole life ahead of you. I'll be damned if I'm like, get in my truck. We about to go ride out on these knuckles. Like, what the hell is wrong with people? I mean, I don't understand. Where's the common sense? You're a mother. Why would you sit there and go with your son and have your son potentially kill another person's son? I mean, this is crazy to me. And now the son is on the run. The mother's in jail. She had to admit to her part of it. You know, she could be facing the rest of her life in prison. Thank goodness that nobody else in that house was killed. Because like most stupid ass shooters, they never hit their damn target. It's always innocent people that have nothing to do with the beef who end up getting shot and killed. Thank goodness that out of all those nine shots that he fired out of his mama's damn car, that none of them hit anybody out there on the street or killed any of those children in the house. I mean, this is some sick ass shit. But on a positive note, he does have some bomb-ass eyebrows. They'll enjoy him in prison. I mean, I'm going to need people to grow up. First of all, you are 32 years old. Come on, son. Like, really, we're still gangbanging at 32? Like, this is just really damn ridiculous to me. Folks need to grow up, and people need to stop being parents. Stop trying to be the cool parent with your kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, th that is not even a normal conversation that you should even have with your child. Your child is that comfortable to come to you as a parent and say, Yo, mom. I need to go on this drive-by because this dude disrespected me on Friday. I'm going to need you to be the getaway driver while I buck shots at his ass. If your child is that comfortable having that conversation with you, that means you failed utterly as a parent. That means you've been condoning his game banging since he was 12 or 13 years old. You probably help him sell drugs. You probably are a drug mule for him. I mean, this is just bullshit to me. It's like, bitch, are you his mother or are you his Bonnie and Clyde? Are y'all fucking? Like, who the hell goes on a drive-by with their damn grown-ass son? I'm done with this story. Family Florida, I'm going to need y'all to get it together. Now, all summer, y'all been perfect. Y'all been on y'all best behavior. But now that it seems like it's starting to cool down, the fall season is approaching, Florida's showing out once again. For a while, Texas and New York was beating y'all all summer. But now Florida's like, you know what? Fuck that. We're back. We're back in effect. <laughs> I can't. 
I can't with this entire story. This entire story is a mess from start to finish. I feel bad for the young man who got shot at. I thank goodness that him and his family were not hurt. Florida, lock away this mother and her crazy ass son and throw away the key. I'm so done with this story. Anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet ass story that's coming from our first favorite state, ratchet ass Florida. You guys never cease to amaze us. <laughs> Deuces.